What's happening, guys? Back again for part two of episode 200. 201, this one is. So, strap up and let's get back in because that first part was actually really good. So, let's see where things pick up from right here. Let's go. Groovy. 72. Jeez. Saigon okay. is a hell of a place. What's the matter, Connor? Don't like a little blood? No, I don't like a little blood. Blood ain't the stuff for oh, 18 year old no. boys from Oh hell no, what in the heck is going on? So this is 1972 and what, Cartman's hand is alive before he was born? Okay. Sheboygan. Okay. I see Blood this making sense. Mitch Connor. Incoming! Okay, not Cartman's hand, Mitch Connor. Okay, yeah. And that's that. Pack your bags, you're headed home. Hugs and kisses from Uncle Sam. <laughs> so how do I end up here with a nine-year-old kid who just wants to know who his father is? All I can tell you, Eric, is that we were all told to stick to the story. To protect someone very important. I can't say more. Oh yeah, shout out to Brokaws for recommending this. These two episodes is so good so far. I won't. But I'll... I'll tell you who has the answer. Oh boy. Look, Gingers. You said you wanted Muhammad. We got him for you. It could be a trick. It's no trick, dude. My friend and I went to the Super Best Friends and brought him here. <laughs> then have him step out of the bear costume. Three! All right, all right, stop. We'll do what you say. I'm sorry, Muhammad, but will you please step out of the bear costume? Whoa. Is this Santa? I see the red. Okay, so, um, see, M Muhammad. That isn't Muhammad, that's Daddy Claus. I tried. Oh, oh my dear. Boys, you got Santa to be Muhammad? When? Hey, listen, it was a pretty good eye for me. The fact that I just seen a bit of red and I thought it was Santa straight away. I mean, hey, T, give yourself, give yourself a high five. Or a clap. And you all said you were going to hand Muhammad. So where is he? Meanwhile, at the Hall of the Super Best Friends. Oh, my days. Buddha, will you lay off that stuff already? It's getting to be a problem. Oh, and you're one to talk with all your internet porn? Watching porn isn't like doing coke, fag. Jesus Christ! Super best friends, you've got to help us! The Casa Bonita is under attack! Casa Bonita. My Barbara Streisand. Great Scott! It's Barbara Streisand! And the rabbit. Anyone know that? Barbara Streisand. Come on, you know it. I know you know it. Jesus, that's where those boys took Mohammed. We have to stop her! Oh my God. They're not even fast. Pretty sure Jesus could fly there anyway. What's this? Someone is at the door, Kevin. Why, it's an African-American man, Kevin. Yes? What the do you chef? want? Yo, man, oh. sorry to bother you, but there's been an accident down the street, man. Can I use your telephone? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but I don't let strangers in. Yo, I understand. You just don't want to let a black man in your house. No, please, it isn't that at all. <laughs> no, I get it, man. You them. Thought things had changed, though. Thought when we got a black president, things would be different. I'm sorry, you're right, you're right. We do have a black president. Please, come in. You shouldn't have trusted him. Not for the reason you think, but because it's Cartman. Ah <laughs> nice work, Connor. Yeah, the old hasn't anything changed speech. <laughs> Works on white people all the time. <laughs> Eric Cartman? Oh, Close crap. the door. Holy crap! Harry Holmes! Pip. My name is Pip. I would like to see if you wouldn't mind not smashing our little town to bits. It's not your your type of episode, young one. He's probably gonna get stomped on or something. Ah! Yep. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom, she's destroying everything. <laughs> we will call her off when you give us Muhammad. <laughs> we don't have. Mu you know the thing is, I don't actually know what Bubble Streisand looks like. I'll be interested to actually see what she looks like after I watch this to see why they're comparing her to a mechanic Godzilla. I mean. It, I don't want to say anything, but it must be something. Muhammad, we, we aren't sure where he is. That's your problem. Kenny, Kenny, dude, what the hell? You're supposed to be watching Muhammad. Oh, thank God. Hey, Muhammad. Really sorry about all this, dude. So what the heck are we going to do now? Muhammad isn't safe here. Whoa. Remember I mean, the time he got in? Couldn't he just... I mean, obviously, he can't be seen by the, the people, I guess. Well, what's the difference between him being seen by Stan, Cal, and Kenny if he can't be seen by the other South Park, um, 
residents. I suppose maybe then it's not a secret and these can be trusted. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just keep watching. I totally know how we can give the gingers and the celebrities what they want, but keep Muhammad safe. Come on! <laughs> the super best friends are here. That's enough, Barbara Streisand! <laughs> Smith! Yeah, try your Jesus. ice breath! Oh, his ice breath? No good! He was protecting you as well as them. Them who? I don't know why I'm leaning towards Chef being his dad, but that doesn't make sense complexion-wise, right? I don't even know why I'm thinking of Chef. Let's see. Very well. Come on, Muhammad, the door's open. Dr. Mephesto, we need your help. Oh, for crying out loud, now everybody's letting themselves in. <laughs> Dude, nobody gives a crap about who your stupid father is. Muhammad is an important... Damn, guys, I mean, this is only one of the few times where I'll be like... Dude, he managed to he managed to come, man. Come on, I want to see who his father is. Issue with actual ethical ramifications. I guarantee you, people care way more about who my father is. <laughs> in the, <laughs> the irony in that is, I actually think the majority of people watching this episode are probably gonna fa care with finding out who Cartman's father is, as opposed to giving Muhammad to the celebrities or the gingers. Ah! You can fly. Oh, these. Power see what I was saying? They can fly. Why did they just not fly there from where the headquarters is? What? <laughs> we need to know any weakness Barbara Streisand might have! Let me think. <laughs> Why is um, Boozy like this? Oh, I know. Barbara Streisand can't resist singing duets with Neil Diamond. With who? Neil Diamond? Seaman! You and Swallow go get a sushi for dinner! <laughs> <laughs> it's Sea Man and Swallow. Okay, Seaman, you guys head off. Fine. Swallow, come! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no way he just said that. Look, Mephesto, you tell this kid who his father is and you do it now. Stop talking with your stupid hand. Yes? Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. There's a, been an accident. I need a phone. Yeah, right. Let me guess. You're an African- He actually needs one. That's the funny thing. He actually needs- I'll bet you he does. American. Well, yes, I am, but I don't know what that has to do with anything. Beat it. I'm not helping you. Dude, that's not cool. Uh, oh crap! It's the gingers. At the gingers. Gingers, no. Later wow. at the Legion of Doom. We got Muhammad. He's useless to you. You can't get Muhammad's power to not be made fun of without the Rob Reiner crew transfer machine. Why do you think we're calling? Our boss is willing to share Muhammad with you if you're willing to share the goo machine with us. You got what you wanted, gingers. So let us go. Oh no no. The head ginger has plans for you. I wonder if Cartman has changed himself back into when he was the leader of the Jews. If not him, I wonder who it is. What head ginger? And where's Cartman? <laughs> the head ginger has something really special planned is it Cartman? for him. <laughs> Eric Cartman. I've waited a long time for this. Whose voice is that? Daddy? <laughs> Guess again. Oh, it's the kid with the red hair. Welcome. To my chili con carnival. He fed him his parents. Oh. Revenge is a dish best served. Chili. Oh, he is the ginger. He's the leader of the gingers. It makes sense. Scott Tannerman. The rest is up to you. Hmm. Form of Neil Diamond. Oh, that's what Krishna can do. Hello, gorgeous. What do you say? Should we sing together again like the old times? Of you now, what have you got to say? That man, bro, what is wrong with this show, man? Like, how do you even sit down and think of this stuff? Like, to this extent, I'm, I, I'm baffled. I'm actually baffled. What is going on? Pull over by my side. Good night. Oh, it worked, Jesus. Matt Stone you and Trey Parker, man, you two guys. Killed and fed them to me as chili. I spent quite a while in a mental institution, Eric. I wanted to torment you with your father's identity, but what I found was more shocking than I could have possibly guessed. What is it? At the Ginger's lair. <laughs> All right, Muhammad is secure.
I thought this was Caitlyn Jenner earlier. This is fucking um Sarah Jessica Parker, isn't it? Oish. Ah. Uh, uh, Why does she look like that? <laughs> what the uh, hell? Yes, I can feel it. I can feel the power to not be ridiculed flowing through my veins. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> OMG, it worked! I've done it! I've done it! Welcome, everyone, to the final act of my fabulous chili carnival! Tell him! Mr. Jimbo! Protect the Denver Broncos. Meanwhile! Oh. This is incredible! Who wants to go next? I want to be next! No, Gingers yeah. go next! Gingers can suck it! I'm next! Oh. <laughs> It's my goo machine, I'm next! Muhammad is our super best friend! Let him go! They can't stop all of us! Get him! <laughs> there was a right tackle, see? Who had an illegitimate child with your slut of a mom. And everyone here covered it up to protect the Bronco name! Would you like to meet him? Well, you can't. Ever. Cause you see, Eric, we have something in common. Did I ever tell you that my father played for the Denver Broncos? No, no. He got a little bored one week and had an affair with a slut named Leanne Cartman. Wait, hold on. Before it's revealed properly, did Cartman kill his dad, who he's saying that might be also Cartman's dad? So that means Cartman killed his own father, and this is his brother. Dude, whoa, wait, hold on. No, please! Tell him! Is it? You almost did before, but you got shot by your brother who was a Bronco fan. Tell him! Jack Tennerman was your father. You killed your own father, and then you fed him to your half-brother! No! No! <laughs> <laughs> now eat your chili! Oh! Now get you, Tom Cruise! Whoa, 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 hold on. Let me just digest what the hell I've just been presented with. The, the thing is, I want the episode to finish so I can actually make sure that this is real and this happened because uh, South Park would probably pull this prank on me and then, but ah, uh, screw you. Um, this isn't real. But if this is actually true, then whoa, that's a big twist, man. I mean, nothing Carmen can do about it now, but he has a half brother. And let's see if the half brother survives to the end of this episode because he might even just die. <laughs> Tom Cruise has semen on his back. Whoa, whoa! You're not supposed to be able to make fun of me anymore! What the hell's going on? I'll be back, super best friends! Oh, so he escaped. Who's the creepy ginger kid? It's that terrorizing people works. That's right. Don't you see, gingers? If you don't want to be made fun of anymore, all you need are guns and bombs to get people to stop. Jesus? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, people, let's start rebuilding our town for the 39th time. Everyone just learned their lesson like that. Look. <laughs> My dad was Scott Tenement's dad. Don't you guys realize what that means? He's going to say something stupid, yeah, dude, isn't he? We, we know what it means. <laughs> My dad was a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, come on, cheer up. Cheer up, I'm half ginger. I'm half ginger. Yeah, but you're forgetting. You're also half Denver Bronco. That makes you pretty cute. You've got Bronco blood in you, kid. That makes you awesome. Me? I should be moving on. Really, Mitch? You gotta go? There's a bounty <laughs> on my head and I can't afford to stay in one place for too long. So long, Denver Bronco. I knew it. <laughs> hey. Hey, we know a place. We know a place where everything is just happiness and joy. And no humans are there to mess it up. We do? Oh, oh yeah, we do. You, really? Somewhere where I can just live out my days in peace and quiet. Was that the moon? Is it the moon? Oh, he went to Mexico. Wow. Oh my word. I'll get you. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. That was a good, good episode. That was a great two par. And I think that was um, a very nice way for them to enter 200 and 201 episodes. So it seems to be the case, actually, that what Cartman essentially killed his own dad and he fed him to his half brother. That is crazy stuff. 
and it's true. I mean, the episode just finished, so it must be really what happened. And his brother's still alive. And he's also probably his biggest nemesis. You know what, Trey Parker, Matt Stone, you guys, hats off to you both. Hats off to you both. Because some of the things you guys come up with, I mean, I couldn't even think of, right, until I see it. And um, yeah, these are truly gifted writers, you know, and, 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 and entertainers. But I really enjoyed that. Shout out to the to the subscriber who um, recommended this to me. I really enjoyed it. But um, yeah, guys, join me for the next video. Uh, stick around, subscribe and like, and I'll catch you then. Peace out. Peace.